We are live. We have made it to the end of April where we have done all of our Warrior Wellness 2020 inspired by COVID-19, AKA the coronavirus pandemic. Um, this is the fourth or fifth. Is this the fourth? This is the fourth. This is the fourth. See, I just remember you that. Portia, you, yeah. Right. So we started out with me and Portia, and we talked about when you're stressed um, and in crisis, and then we went into Jewel, and we talked about when you're quarantined and bored. Um, and then last week, we talked about when money needs management with Patrice. And today, we are with Miss Taylor Gordon of Divinely Wholesome, and as well as a My Warrior Life team member. She is our holistic health coach. And tonight, we are talking about what food fuels me. If you've never tuned in before, my name is Wendy Whitmore. And uh, I love this stuff, you know, like it's funny. I was just telling um, Taylor, nothing about today, when it's planned. Uh, it's something about doing this and serving the community of women. And I know we'd be having some men on there say, hey, go boys. Um, that I just literally come alive. Like this is not fake. I'm not like tap dancing and putting on a show. Like I absolutely adore this stuff. So without further ado, Miss Taylor Gordon, can you say hello to the people? Hi, everybody. We're on. We're here. I've been watching all of them um, for the last three weeks, right? Because they've been consecutive all right. the way in a row. And they've been awesome. And I'm just happy to, you know, be ending it in this way. It's I know. I know. <laughs> super, super cool. So the way tonight is going to yeah. go, you know, we always hit you with ponder this, let's define it. And then, you know, we talk about the mind, body, spirit, and soul. And each topic, we relate it to that. And then we always leave you with four wonderful tips. If you haven't seen mm -hmm. any of the other webinars, visit this page. We put all the links in there. It'll take you over to YouTube where you can watch them. Um, and you can just, you know, get your nice little feed on. Get your nice fuel. <laughs> I'm going to get it together, y'all. Get the food for your mind, body, soul, and spirit. Don't be judging me out there, Facebook land, okay? Don't be judging me. All right, so we're going to get started with the ponder this question. The question yeah. is, what food fuels me? And so that's the topic, and our, t our ponder this question is, are your cravings driving you crazy? So can I just say this, Taylor? Mm -hmm. so, I'm lacto intolerant. Yeah, I know this might be TMI, but I love ice cream. And I will admit uh -huh. that I have tried the vegan versions and I found the one, what is it? So delicious. Delicious. I do. I like that one. Not the <laughs> coconut based one because I'm allergic and I don't want to die. But right. it's something about Blue Bell ice cream. For those in the South, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's just something about ice cream in general made with cow's milk that you just can't get from So Delicious. So, truth be told, I have been craving mm -hmm. ice cream to the point where mm -hmm. last night, y'all, I'm going to tell on myself. Or tell maybe it. the night before. Girl, I went down there. I was like, nope, I'm not going to get a bowl. <laughs> so I got a scoop of ice cream, you know, in the big service. And I in your big phone? It's in the yeah. sink. Yeah, we can I, relate. And afterwards, I was so mad at myself. I was like... I mean, first of all, why am I sneaking at 40? Right. Second of all, like, can my craving kick in at 1 p.m. instead of at 11 p.m. when I do at least have right. the time to flush it out? Right. So, yeah, so my cravings is driving me a little crazy, y'all. Like, because ice cream mm -hmm. and baked cookies, they call it, they, they say, Wendy, Wendy, come eat some. So, all right. They call your name? They you, call you hear them whisper right, so, you at night? I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it to you, Taylor. I'm going to give it to you. So, <laughs> I mean, <Okay>. I, <laughs> and the thing is, is like, first of all, you're not alone. Like, I'm sure everybody watching right now can say the same, right? Like, we're at home. You have all of this time, whether you're working from home or not, whether you have a job right now or you don't, whether you have kids or you don't, whether you, like, have family with you or you're alone like it doesn't matter everyone's under the same umbrella everybody's going through the same thing and everybody's sitting there like opening the fridge like when you were a kid and you would just keep opening it and staring at it and like hoping something will change <laughs> and your parents be like close you let in uh, close the fridge it's right. not changing right so 
everybody's feeling the same way. Everybody's kind of feeling like there's this like collective energy of my cravings. I don't know what to do with them. Right. And I mean, it's the perfect storm for it, right? It is the absolute perfect storm. So we want to be able to give us some alternatives and just some more options because if y'all know anything about me, you know that I don't shame any food. I, there's not one food that I'm like, that's bad, that's terrible. I don't label it. We just want to figure out what works for us. Like right. everybody's body is different. If you want a scoop of ice cream, have the scoop of ice cream. If you want the cookie, have the cookie. But, but with that, we just want to give you some insight to help you understand why, when, and how it could be best used right. for your body. And don't sneak and be eating over the kitchen counter sink. <laughs> And don't sneak it. Ooh, the ice cream. Don't do that to yourself. Don't send yourself down that spiral. It's, it's no, don't do it. <laughs> all right, all right. So next, we're gonna define it. So let's define yeah. it. Okay, Taylor. Yeah. So this one was really hard because I thought about when I thought about fuel foods, I thought mm -hmm. about like you know fruits and veggies. Yeah. Right. And so, what are fuel foods? Define it for everybody. So a lot of people, a lot of us will think that we're so limited and we almost end up like limiting our bodies in a way because we only think that we like have to eat kale and I don't know, quinoa. And that's always the example that comes to my mind because those are the first two things where people are like, that's gross. I don't want to do it. And I'm like, there's so much more, you guys. There is so much more. So fuel foods, right? Some people call them um, high energy foods. Some people call them high vibrational foods. They're just simply whole foods, right? So they're foods that provide your body with the support that it needs at that time. That's the caveat, right? Like, it's that simple. We want to keep it as simple as possible for people. And the thing is, is that it's shit and it's okay. Like, whatever you need for your support, whether it be with your external circumstances, your internal circumstances, your family, your relationships, your physical state, like, pandemics, right? Like, who would have thought it's going to shift like what your body needs at that time is going to move it's going to be asking you for different things but that's why we do the work that we do so that we're in tune and we're able to really trust ourselves and listen to what it is that our bodies are asking for at that time right all right so um, if, if fuel foods is mm -hmm. whole foods that provide the body with the support it needs. Um, I yeah. know you talk about this, but I'm, I'm gonna throw you for I'm gonna throw a monkey wrench in it because you're smart. You smart girl. <laughs> you're kind. <laughs> you're pretty. You were thank smart. you. Thank you. <laughs> so, okay. So when we talk about what the body, the support it needs, what is some mm -hmm. of the support that the body needs? So, so let's just start here, right? Like as a basis. So this is one thing I always share with people. If you have a hard time pronouncing the ingredients in the food, your body is going to have a hard time digesting the food. Like just rule of thumb foundation there. Cause a lot of people are like, well, what does it need? How do I know? And the whole thing. Right. And it's like, well, let's just start with, can you pronounce the ingredients? Like, are we able to pronounce them? If you can pronounce them, your body will have a much easier time digesting them. Um, so you asked, you asked, what is the support that our body needs? Right. right. So, I mean, as a whole, because we take a holistic approach, like we need, we need all of the vitamins and the micronutrients that we, we can get from the foods. Like a lot of people or a lot of us really will um, end up kind of trying to supplement instead of just using the foods, like gaining the knowledge around the foods and then eating our say vitamins. Right. And so that's what I kind of want to be able to share. So it needs, I mean, it, it needs all kinds of things things right like what are some specifics that you're looking at so what what i think about that i think about the people or the clients that i have even in therapy who mm -hmm. they come to me and you know they're just really struggling and food becomes like the crutch right they're depressed right they eat, they're anxious they eat they're lonely they eat and so what i want to be able to convey to them is mm -hmm. um to, to not complicate it. Because if we start talking about amino acids and this and that and fatty acids, right. you're like, wait, 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 wait. That's too much. It's too complicated. So what yeah, I want to think about it, I'm thinking, okay, your food needs, your food needs water. Your food needs your body. Um, vitamin C. It needs vitamin D. You need things mm -hmm. that are rich. I know we're going to get to that, but I just kind of want to find support. So support basically means, and I want to say it in layman's terms, because maybe it means like, fuel. Right. It just, so things that A, you can pronounce it, that's what you said. Yes. You can pronounce it. And B, like, what can we just say common sense? I mean, like, is 
are cookies fuel food or do they just taste good? They taste good. And sometimes you want them and that's fine. Right. But if you're looking for fuel, because really like, like you said, not to overcomplicate it, right? Like what is going to fuel you? That's it. Like that's what your body, that's the support it needs. What is going to fuel you at that time? And that will look different in all different types of scenarios. So just keep it as simple as like, what is going to fuel you? Um, anything that is not too processed, mm -hmm. anything that hasn't been refined, um, those are the foods we want to look at. And like you said, we're going to get into the specifics later, but for right now, just think of what is going to fuel me, not what's going to give me a spike in energy right. because there's a difference, right? Like not thinking because sometimes we won't actually give our body the nutrients that we need. And then we find ourselves in a position where we're lagging and we're dragging and we, you know, we can't focus and we're like, I just need something real quick. Let me eat all the sugar that I can find. Let me get drink this a red bull. energy. Let me drink a red bull. Right. Like what is going to give me a spike? Right. But, but like, we have to ask ourselves, is that sustainable? Right. Ooh, I like that word. Sustainable. That's I'm a good favorite. one. All right. All right. All right. So <laughs> we're talking about mind, body, soul, spirit. So the uh -huh. next question is, how do foods that fuel me positively impact the mind, body, spirit, and soul? All right, Taylor, yep. give, give it to them for the mind. Okay, so for the mind, we're looking at foods that are going to support your focus, foods that are going to help you make um, clear-cut decisions, um, foods that are really going to, and those decisions are going to be the foods that help support your body, soul, and spirit. So now we're talking about the mind and the way that it kind of like encapsulates everything in our body and how it controls and how we're looking to like um, get this connection between the mind and the body. So these are the foods that are going, are when you have these fuel foods mm -hmm. with your mind intact, right? These are the things that help you stay focused. They're the things that help you stay on track. They're the things that help you get to your tasks through the day. So they're going to help you sit down at that desk and get all your work done um, or not right? Like we want to think about both sides. So that's what we think about the mind. Oh my God. This is what I need to tell my client. This is the support. This is what I need to tell them. Mm -hmm. Foods that yep. allow you to make better, clear, conscious decisions and that are good mm -hmm. choices, not only for your mind, but your body, soul, and spirit. Yes. Like that's the support. Absolutely. Like ding, the light bulb. Mm -hmm. All right. Give it to them. We got there. Mind. Full circle. So body, we want to look at <laughs> how it allows the body to function at its full potential. And let me just say this. Full potential means something different every day. So just like take the pressure off. So, cause we're not talking about just trying to get out and run 15 miles, right? right. We can be, when we're talking about full potential or at least how I choose to um, share it and describe it and allow people to find ease in it is to know that full potential can look like anything from running a marathon to getting ample sleep at night. Like, and, and everything in between. Right. So we're not just talking about how many miles you can run that day, how long you can go in your yoga class or how many spin classes you can take. We're also talking about the opposite side, which is sleep that is fully functioning at its best potential. Right. When you're able to sleep like and a lot of us will find that we don't put as much into that thinking that we need to our bodies to be supported in that. Mm -hmm. So from running the marathon to sleeping through the night for what your body needs and everything in between is what full potential looks like. Got it. I got it. I love it. All right. For yeah. the soul, the soul, remember everybody is what grounds you. It's what settles you. It's what houses mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. mind, the body and the spirit. So how does fuel food positively impact the soul? Yeah. I remember I had to ask you because I was going back and forth, like soul spirit, how do I, you know, how do I like differentiate a lot of times I'll find myself kind of merging them, which I guess is okay too, but you gave me a really good um, differentiator and you told me that the soul is the house. Like it's what, and when you think about a house, like we think about it needing to be on stable ground. It's the same thing for our bodies. So this body is our house. It's what we live in. It's the only one we got y'all. <laughs> like it is the only one we have. So when you have these fuel foods, they positively affect your soul by giving you a really stable, grounded foundation and make you like unwavering. So right now, because of the work that I've been blessed enough to do in terms of my food, I'm not shaken. Right. And that, that's a, that's a, that's a blessing. Like I know that everyone is not in that space. 
And, but that's why we're doing this. Right. And the reason why I feel so passionate about sharing this is because now I'm at a place where it's like, oh, I know what my body needs. Even if I make a decision or a choice to take something that's like the cookie or the ice cream or whatever it may be, I'm not shit and completely thrown off of my platform with the foods that I'm eating right now. Right, right. That makes perfect sense. That's yeah. that whole thing you talk about, about not making yourself feel guilty, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. Okay. All right, and for the spirit, which is our essence, right? It's what makes us us. It's what helps us differentiate between us and our parents, right? Because we there's commonalities between us and them, um, mm -hmm. but our spirit. So what is it for the spirit? Yeah, so you gave me a really good just like key for the spirit and you said like, let's just think about our emotions and how they're affected, right? And listen, our emotions are already all over the place with this thing. Like, I don't know about you. I'm sure we could say the same, right? Like we just got on here tonight and we had to literally sit here for a second and be like, it's fine. Everything is fine. Today was perfect. <laughs> right. <laughs> it was great. Just to get ourselves like in a place where we're like, okay, we can do this. <laughs> right. But when we think about the food that's going to help enhance the peace that we are already working on cultivating within ourselves, mm -hmm. um, this is what it does for our spirit. So it keeps us at peace. It keeps us in an emotionally balanced um, space, like just to keep it really simple. When it comes to our spirit and the fuel foods that we're eating, that's how it helps support your spirit. Right. Again, the support. Mm -hmm. This is all the exactly. support. Dude, I'm going to be like screenshotting exactly. this and be like, okay, so I need you to write this down. Yeah. <laughs> you is know, this a part of my homework, Wendy? Yes, this is how we're <laughs> going to help you deal with the stress and anxiety and depression. Absolutely. Yeah, at, ex exactly, because that is, I mean, we're, we're inside. Like, granted, we can go outside, we can go for the runs, but we don't have that same connection that we had with people in terms of that physicality, and it's hard. It is really hard. So right. yeah, keeping your spirit at peace with the foods that you're eating, it's definitely possible to enhance it. Right, right, right. And I like that you said it sends signals because I think that that's really important for us to mm -hmm. understand that our emotions, right? If we're going to replace yeah. the word spirit with emotions temporarily, right. our emotions right. send signals. So literally, mm -hmm. I just have to sit here. I had a rough day, y'all. Yeah. I had to sit here and say, okay, everything was perfect. And of course, I'm giving myself a little bit of a pep talk. But what I'm really doing is I'm letting, I'm letting my mind know and my body, I'm letting it know that even though today wasn't perfect, moving forward, this is where I'm going to be. I'm choosing to be here. And I know people tell me I'm sometimes way too optimistic. But what I always say is, is that, you know, I'm just choosing not to stay in that space, man. It's just dangerous. Yeah. Like, it's just dangerous to stay in that space of feeling disappointed and dejected and, you know, overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. so I like that you said it's in signal yeah. um, to the spirit that keeps it at peace. Signal. Okay. Yeah, um, because it doesn't mean that we're always there. Right. Right? It doesn't mean we're always there, but there are things that you can do, and that's why I specifically said to enhance it, like to help pour into that space. Because even if you're having a rough day, there are still things that we can do not to be like, not to try to overshadow what's going on just with positivity for the heck of positivity, but to actually send, send those signals to your brain to tell you that your body is safe. And we all know that that is my message forever. Right. So we got tips, you know, we always here at the My Warrior Life community want to make sure that we define it, that we give you something to ponder that we break it down for the mind, body, soul, and spirit. And of course, yep. everybody needs some tips, right? Everybody needs tips. Yeah. That's the yeah. whole point of a lot of these Instagram memes, you know, and these quotes is that people are looking for answers. They're looking for inspiration. So mm -hmm. I feel like our tips are really kind of like inspiration for after the fact. So let's break down the tips. What is it for the mind? Yeah, absolutely. We need those tips because we don't want to lift you guys off of here and be like, so what do I do now? Um, <laughs> so Oh, right. Like we're like, okay, great. So I'm motivated, but like now what do I do? So we never want to leave you like that. So when it comes to, um, we talked about mind, body, soul, spirit, we're always thinking of a holistic approach for our whole entire life. Right. So when we think about foods that are going to support your mind, like we talked about before, we really want to talk about healthy fats. 
And I know we didn't want to get into all of the like scientific background, but just so we know, right, we're talking about the healthy fats, the monounsaturated fatty acids, the polyunsaturated fatty acids, things that are going to be beautiful for your brain health, your brain functionality. They literally protect your brain. They give it sustainability. They give it energy. Like, it's the fats are massive. I know a lot of people run from them or they don't know like how to make the, the differentiation between what's a good fat and what's a bad fat. So I'm telling you now that you have permission to have fat in your food. Um, <laughs> you need it. We all need it. Our minds, our brains need it. So different foods that that can look like are like avocado, um, fatty fish, uh, nuts, chia seeds, extra virgin olive oil, avocado oils, coconut oil, dark chocolate. Yes, you can have, like, it's great for you in that way. Um, hummus. So there's different things. Those are the different foods that we would talk about when we're talking about the healthy fats for the mind. Okay. And why we need them. Okay. And then for the body, you got yeah. leafy greens. Mm. Yeah. That don't sound too appetizing, Taylor. <laughs> mm, listen, I know how to season my food, so my dark leafy greens are good, okay? Um, <laughs> I don't know about y'all, <laughs> but we season our food around here, so it doesn't have to be gross. Um, but we are talking about the body. We're, and the thing is, too, if I can just say, right, you find that you're going to hear a lot of the same words between the mind, body, soul, and spirit because everything touches everything, everything supports everything. So one whole food, is going to do for your mind exactly what it's going to do for your spirit, which is just literally how it goes. But we can separate between the foods so we know what to have. So when we talk about the body, we're talking about keeping up our energy. We're talking about sustainability, immune boosters, who, like we all need our immune systems boosted right now. Um, right. We're talking about anti-inflammatory foods. When we're talking about our immune systems plummeting and people going through this like deficit right now, you have, it, it stems from inflammation. So that is where it's growing. So when we're feeding our body all of these sugars and everything else that's going to feed the inflammation, all we're doing is lowering our immune system. So we want to look at things like, and these are foods that are going to um, carry a lot of your B vitamins, a lot of your K vitamins, um, things that are going to keep you sustained and your energy going. Um, so we're talking about kale, we're talking about microgreens, we're talking about um, like collards, so like greens as we know them, right? But not cooked the way that we cook them at Thanksgiving. Um, we're talking about spinach, and we're talking about beet greens, we're talking about Swiss chard, um, arugula, bok choy. So these are the things that are going to keep your body sustained and you can throw them. They're in so many different things. Like you don't have to literally just like pick them out and eat them without any flavor. So there are ways to make these things taste really good. Okay. So we're always, I'm always hearing people talk about this the, these two for you know that we're, you're going to talk about for the soul people always like you need mm -hmm. to add this to your diet you need to add this to yeah. your diet okay so break it yeah. down for soul and then can you explain the difference between the two yeah <laughs> yeah absolutely so when we're talking about the soul again we're talking about the house right we're talking about where everything roots from we're talking about our gut and we're talking about keeping our gut healthy and as we know as i always share if your gut is not healthy you can forget about the rest like everything stems from that is that's why they call it your second brain. It is so vital to keep it healthy. Um, so the way we keep it healthy is by just to like nerd out for a second. So we have microbiome in our gut, right? All we're talking about is the good and bad bacteria. We have we're naturally there are times where bad bacteria is going to get in and we have to be able to support and refill the good bacteria. This is what prebiotics and probiotics do for our gut, right? So when we're talking about prebiotics, we're talking about the literal food that is going to fuel our good gut bacteria. Y'all got that? So that's what prebiotics do. They fuel, so the good bacteria in our gut, prebiotics are to fuel the good bacteria. They fuel and feed the good bacteria. That's it. That's all they do. Okay. So we're talking about things like onions and garlic and leeks. Um, raw honey, fibrous foods, um, bananas, these are different things that are going to help fuel. So they're not just things that we don't know. Like everyone cooks with onions, everyone cooks with garlic, right? Like we know, well, most, we know <laughs> how these things go. <laughs> we know how these things go. So these are, these are ingredients that you already have in your kitchen, right? So that's prebiotics. They feed the good bacteria. They keep the good bacteria going. Probiotics help to balance out 
the good and bad bacteria because you always have a level of both. Okay. So when we're talking about probiotics, we're talking about fermented foods. We're talking about, and here's the thing, right? I don't eat a lot of these things because I don't like the way they taste because we're talking about like sauerkraut and like <laughs> certain yogurts. And I mean, a lot of people do like them. We're talking about pickles and tempeh and like different things like that. So I supplement my probiotics and that's you pickles. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like pickles. Yeah. Yeah. A Anybody lot of people do. Chat like oh. pickles? Anybody like pickles? <laughs> that's a probiotic? A pickle? Yeah, they help. I mean, keep in mind, it's all about how you eat them, right? But yes. Yeah. So like pickled onions, pickles, these are fermented foods. Yeah. Fermented. You know what I thought of fermented? I thought like almost rotten or spoiled. Well, not spoiled, <laughs> not rotten. However, they are foods. I mean, it's it's good bacteria. So take that how you will. You got it. You got it. <laughs> when we, people say but, fermented, yeah. I just go, hmm. I, I don't. Anybody else in the chat? Like, if you, if you give me a thumbs up, if fermented for you, it just has a. It has a, like a. Like when you said yeah. dark leafy greens, I just thought y'all yeah. mm, don't want to know where my mind went, and it wasn't nasty. It was just like <laughs> you know, I call it giving it back to the earth when you're mm -hmm. on your commode. Yep. That's what I thought of mm -hmm. with dark leafy greens. Like you're gonna be running to the bathroom. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and you should. Like you want your system to clear out. <laughs> but like. <laughs> it's like the woo. Okay, so probiotics. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Got mm -hmm. it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So we get the difference. <laughs> and go back and watch it if you need like to understand it more. But that's right. the difference between the two and why and we if need. They have questions, they keep your gut healthy. They drop it, if they have questions, sorry to yeah. you off, babe. They can drop it on the live or in the page, and you can ask them. I mean, you can ask, you can answer them, not ask. Them. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Right. All right. So for <laughs> yep. spirit. I told y'all, don't yep. judge me. Look, don't judge. Don't judge. I'm, I'm staying present, but you know, but you know. All right. We're for here. The spirit, for here. the spirit. What mm -hmm. is the food fuel tip for the spirit? Right. So spirit, we know we talked about our emotions, right? And regulating them. So we're talking about um, keeping our emotions balanced, at peace, um, connections between brain and the body. We're talking about emotional stability and Im immune boosters. Right now we're in a position where our immune systems are low, not just because of the food we're eating, but also because of our situation. Like the emotional impact literally lowers your immune system and that's scientific. So we want to do things that are going to help bring that back up in a way that is nutritious. So we're talking foods that are rich in vitamin D and vitamin K. Vitamin D is massive. Like it's, yes, we stand and that's why we stand in the sun. That's why standing in the sun is literally an immune boost because vitamin D is so massive for our internal levels. So it keeps us from going into kind of like that dark place, literally and figuratively. Um, so foods that are rich in vitamin D and vitamin K, um, we're looking at like fatty fishes again. So like salmon, swordfish is, a, is really, really good in terms of um, vitamin D, vitamin K, keeping us like sustainable. Um, we're, we're talking about like oysters, mushrooms, um, liver, which you won't catch me eating that, but it's fine. If anybody likes it, have at it. Um, we're talking about whole eggs. Um, cashews are huge. So cashews for healthy fats, but also for vitamin D, um, creating a vitamin D supply in our bodies. It's massive for keeping our emotions high, um, it, keeping us in a high emotional state, um, which doesn't look like one extreme or the other. Um, and then vitamin K, we're talking about green leaf, our leafy greens again. So our kale, our spinach, our greens, our Swiss chard, parsley, romaine, um, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage. Like that's that's where we're we're at when it comes to foods to feed our spirit. Right. And you know what? I want to just I just want to drop this because I I've been talking about mind, body, soul, spirit with my clients a lot to get them um, through the mm -hmm. shelter in place. And when you talked about the sun, mm -hmm. um, I talk about life sources and energy sources, and the sun truly mm -hmm. is a life and energy source for the spirit, right? Because our emotions are about the gloomy days, right? And so I like that you brought that in about talking about vitamin D in the sun, like it's, cause it's an energy source. And as soon as we step out in the sun, you know, unless it's just extremely hot, then we might be like, oh really? But, <laughs> 
Right. As soon as we step out in the sun, it's kind of just like, oh my goodness. Like it just awakens us. Like things, you know, the Absolutely. lighter, brighter. Even if you have problems, if you have things going on, like the sun, it just, mm-hmm. it's a life source. It's an energy source. Um, so what, what I- It's really, my favorite anxiety reducer. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's free and about, it's my favorite. Right. If we think about the natural elements and so- Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, like a lot of the stuff you said, like if we don't think about it in terms of like these like definitions that we've kind of put on here, mm-hmm. and we think about like the life and energy sources and we think about, oh, greens, I'll do this for my body and um, yes. vegetables will do this for my body and eating mm-hmm. salmon will do this and eating cashews will do this and being out in the sun will do that and a banana will do this. I think about if we think about mm-hmm. it in terms of the energy sources and the life sources that we're seeing. Yeah for our mind, body, soul, and spirit, then we won't look at food in a way of, oh, I got to stop and eat lunch. Oh, I need to go energize my body. Exactly. Oh, I need to, I need to exactly. make sure I breakfast. No, I need to make sure that I start my day at its fullest potential, right? Mm-hmm. At, at where I'm at for the day. So I really, really love this. Yeah, I absolutely. That, um, I think this is a really good one to end with. I think the ponder this question, are your cravings getting the best of you? I mean, we all have cravings. Um, a lot of pe- people emotionally eat, you know, whether it's whatever your guilty pleasure is, taking away the word guilty, mm-hmm. Taylor, because I know we shouldn't feel guilty. Mm-hmm. But do you have anything nope. you want to add before we kind of drop them with what else is going on that we got for them this week um, and wrap up? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when it comes to those cravings, y'all, like, what the one nugget that I share with my clients with my people they know this about me like you're gonna hear me say this if you hear me say anything it's pour into the other spaces of your life yes it's about food but it's not all about food we're really talking about supporting your whole being so um, we want to make this as easeful as possible like we want to create as much ease so pour into all of the other spaces in your life when you feel those cravings things not be in the driver's seat anymore just try it try it out right and so the next thing that um we want to share with you guys Mm -hmm. is i don't think your screen is shared anymore yeah i just realized that (laughs) it's all right (laughs) you know i tell y'all don't judge today y'all don't judge but what I do (laughs) want to say without the screen share i had this really cute thing i was going to share but whatever Mm -hmm. Um, so I'll start with tomorrow is my business's seventh year anniversary. I have officially completed the seven year itch. Um, I've wanted to quit. I've tried quitting. Um, my business started out as only a private practice and then I added the, I love me experiences. And then I added the, my world life community. And I will tell you guys that, um, I was not going to celebrate my anniversary. My dad, I had this whole like thing set up for my anniversary because my dad was supposed to turn 70 um, in May. And so I had this whole like how we were going to celebrate his 70th and it was my seven year anniversary and it was like just kismet, right? And Mm -hmm. my dad died and my grandmother died and my grandfather died. I mean, it's just been, and so what I realized is that the only way to, because I tell you guys, I'm still living through this grief. The only way to not be sad or as sad is to honor them, right? Mm -hmm. So tomorrow night on my Facebook page, Wendy L. Whitmore, I will be um, having a celebration for my seventh anniversary for Truth Healing Evolution Counseling Services. Um, And we're going to be talking about, of course, wellness, mind, body, soul, and spirit 7 p.m., you guys, Pacific Standard Time. Um, please join in. Um, we'll be streaming live again, and I have some guests. Um, I hope you guys have been seeing what I've been posting. If not, we have Miss Dami. We have Pastor Sam um, from New Life. Um, we have Dami from Passion Bar. We have my son, Jalen, who's going to be talking about the youth perspective um, of why wellness is important for the youth. And then we have an Iman youth by the name of Cameron. So please join in, you guys. Um, yeah, it, it's going to be special. And then, look, I didn't, I, I got this up still, um, Tay, so I'm going to mm-hmm. pull this up. Where That's awesome. Congratulations, by the way. 
Thank you. Thank you. Uh oh, did it go That's away? Amazing. Can you see it? Um, I can see. Oh, there we go. I think it's yes it's coming back up. And so here we go. So after I know this is a busy week, y'all. This is a busy week. I didn't realize everything was happening in one week. But what after tomorrow, after we celebrate, it's my anniversary. I'm not a singer, don't be judging. So, anywho, ah. on Friday, myself mm -hmm. and Taylor will be hosting a wellness workshop. Okay? Yay. And it is $15. And, um, you know, 15 bucks y'all is, 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 it's like, it's like a little chump change. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's, <laughs> it's only 15 bucks. I'm not saying it's chump change. I'm just saying, I'm joking. Everybody knows me. I'm a little bit of a jokester. Um, the tickets are 15. Um, it will be at 7 PM and, um, I'm going to read the quotes because I really feel like, um, the quotes really give, um, Taylor, can you see your quote on the screen? I can. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to read mine. Okay, so self-care is the mind <laughs> workout we must execute to better understand the connection between our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Okay, and so that is what I'm going to be addressing on Friday during this virtual workshop with my sis Taylor. All right, Taylor, can you mm -hmm. read your um, quote for everybody? Yeah, so your body has a voice. Can you hear it? Finding harmony within the human body means cultivating trust to create new habits. And so we have a really great way that we're going to tie those two together. Um, if you want to go on Eventbrite, this is the Eventbrite, Warrior Wellness, May 2020, dot eventbrite.com. You can also go um, to my cash app, dollar sign, Miss MRS, Wendy WB, um, or you can go on Venmo, and it's at therapy dash by dash Wendy. Um, if you go on my page, you'll see it. If you go on my Warrior Life page, you'll see it. But if you have any questions, reach out and let us know. Um, yeah. I just, I cannot tell you how grateful and thankful I am. Number one, for being a part of my Warrior Life, for having um, Taylor and Portia and Patrice and now Miss Jewel be a part of it. Um, and to yeah. celebrate my anniversary with you guys this week. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Like you said, you know, if you have any questions, because we ran through a lot of stuff, put them in the comments. We'll get back to you. We want to talk back to you. If you come back and watch the replay, let us know where. Um, and yeah, we'll just continue the conversation. All right, you guys, as always, mwah, blessings and love, love all you guys. guys. All right. Good night. Bye. 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 <laughs>